Now, of course, there are those days here on the show where we really do detest having to be the mouthpiece for the kind of news stories that have gone on in recent weeks. Now, focusing in on one of those horrific stories, in response to the tragic um, story of teen Franziska Blochliga, who was raped, robbed and murdered in the Takai Forest, a couple of Cape Townian software developers devised an app that will help to keep us safe when um, commuting alone or on foot. It's called Hamba Safe. And what's even better about this is that it will be built through the pooling of the very best minds in Cape Town over a two-day hackathon. Now, Elizabeth Senga and Sham Mudlia, who have um, pulled together um, for themselves and, of course, brought together some of these brilliant minds to create this. Um, I have to say, and this has taken my breath away a little bit because it's obviously taken me back through the last couple of weeks, which have been horrific for most Cape Tonians, especially for the family concerned. But talk to me about the motivation here. Maybe I can start with you. Um, Elizabeth, what prompted you to get up and, and take this, this drive? Um, Graham, I think, you know, there was a general feeling of, I think people feel so, um, as you said, sort of heartfelt condolences for the families um, concerned. And, um, you know, um, we just wanted to do something and I think that's what literally it was Sham and I had a conversation to say you know is there something that we can do is can technology in some way um, provide something that enables people to be able to go outside and, and enjoy an outdoor activity without being quite so vulnerable what is a hackathon um, it, it does I have to say sound a little bit negative obviously yeah, but yeah. with the, the the connection to hack but I'm guessing that is not the the drive at all no not at all in fact, we're kind of hacking the word hackathon. Yeah. Uh, usually hackathons is when you get technologists from all over to come together in a pressure cooker and really collaborate to, to solve a problem. Uh, usually it's more company-led kind of initiative. We're getting people to use their skills for good, so to volunteer and actually make a difference in the country. And to, to force an outcome at the end, which I, I absolutely love. Um, ha, is it closed doors already? Have you got all of those brilliant minds that you need? How can people get involved? How can um, those technical minds in Cape Town add their voice? Uh, we still, I mean, we've had an amazing response so far, but we absolutely still welcome more techies to get in touch. Um, there's a, um, a, a cricket system so people can, can register for free, just so that we know from a catering perspective how many people are coming. <laughs> But absolutely, people can literally just arrive on Friday and, you know, we will welcome them into the hackathon. Um, but the best way is for them to go onto the Facebook page and click on the Quickets link um, and let us know if they're coming. But otherwise, they can literally just arrive. Oh, brilliant. Man. Now, just to get those creative juices going, how do you think technology can be used? What do you think is going to emerge from this? Yeah? So one of the approaches, I mean, the key focus, you've got, you have a lot of uh, apps that are out there which are rapid response. What we're focusing on is prevention by getting people to, to go and do these activities in groups. So what the app will do is easily enable people to, to organize going out in groups, whether it's planned events or just on the fly. And the nice thing about it is people who wouldn't normally get together, because this thing is inclusive. It's not just about Francisca. It's about the events across the country, also the, the ones that are not reported. And so we want not just techies, but we want people, you know, from, from the locations to yeah, come in and help us design the something. landscape, yeah. Mm -hmm. Guys, thank you so much for what you are doing and good luck. Um, I think you're going to have quite a, an awesome challenge ahead in every sense of the word. But thank you so much for, for stepping up and, and greeting this challenge. It's really awesome to see your sector doing something. Thank you. Okay. Um, Elizabeth and Sham doing their part. Make sure that you guys register on Quicket for catering purposes and others. Um, and you can get yourself to the waterfront a workshop um, from uh, the 6 p.m. tomorrow and take part in the Hamba Safe campaign and you can get to their Facebook page to get all of the vital information that you need. Well, we're going to continue to change the world right now. Zoe.